What's up, modern status? I wanted to check out our field this morning and see if raising chickens on pasture can help bring a field back to life. And if you look at the grass, this is what ours looked like last year before we started running the chickens on it. And this field right here that we're standing in, it's nice, lush, and green. We ran our egg layers, our meat birds, and our turkeys last year on this pasture. So let's compare it to the field next to us and see how this field did with all that nice chicken manure on it versus another field. This field's been sitting dormant for whew, quite a few years now, I want to say. I don't know exactly how long, but let's go over here and take a peek. This area here last year was pretty bare. I ran the chickens over it quickly once, and it's starting to green up and get a little lusher. But if you look over here, where I could really run the chickens, look at that. We'll take a, we'll back up and we'll take a look. And look at this area, where we were really able to run them really nice. I mean, this is just... I mean, the grass right now is almost knee high. That's just crazy. And then... I'll take a walk down there. It's a field that connects to our land that's not ours. The grass is a lot yellower when you start coming over here. So much more green and lush. Can't even mow the field yet. How much water we've gotten recently. Kind of hard to put the chickens out here too. I'm a little disappointed. It's not picking it up on camera, but last week you could see some green strips of grass and some yellowish strips. See like where the flowers are? It's a yellow area. And then the dark green areas are where the chickens went. And it really stood out last week. And you can notice where the chickens had been ran and where they hadn't been yet. So this bit of land that we're on right here abuts our field over there. And if you look at the grass, this is what ours looked like last year before we started running the chickens on it. It's kind of neat, we got a cool little comparison right next door. This is what it looked like last year. This is right off the edge of our property. The two fields connect. And then you walk into our field, and look how much greener and thicker the grass is. So anybody who says raising chickens on pasture doesn't do anything for the chickens or the land, they're full of it. Right here is some awesome evidence and that's just one little short season of doing it in a year. We'll run them here again this year and just imagine what it's gonna look like next year. This area over here is where we ran the pigs. They are just all brush, grown up really bad. I mean, we gotta go in here now with a weed whacker and cut this stuff down, but they cleared it for us. We just gotta wait for it to dry out, unfortunately. They cleared it for us. It used to be an apple orchard at one day. That was really nice. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on the ground. The goal of having the pigs in here last year was to clean this area back up and kind of get it back. It probably won't, it won't be a nice pristine apple orchard, but maybe we can get some grass growing in here. We can stop having the chickens in here and we can get the apple trees producing more apples, whether the apples are for us to eat, make cider with, cook with, whatever, or we can give them to the animals. Why not take as many resources as we can get from this property and turn it back into food for us? Just think about all the minerals that those apples are gonna have, how deep those roots are. I mean, those trees are probably like 100 years old I mean, how deep do you think those roots are going? What kind of minerals and vitamins are they getting out of the earth for us or our animals? That's pretty exciting if you think about it. So, a lot of the stuff we're doing here is not a quick and easy process. It's not like, boom, you snap your fingers and everything's done. It's a process. It's gonna take five, 10 years and maybe longer. Our daughter and our grandkids, they're gonna be the ones that probably get the benefit from it the most, but. We're enjoying it while we're doing it, and let's leave something better for the future generations to have. Believe it or not, this clump right here is another clump of apple trees that's all overgrown and grown down on the ground. At some point, we gotta clean them up. 
We got this really nice big tree. We got a lot of apples off that last year for our pigs. They loved it. Some more apple trees over here, up there, over there, and there. Property just loaded with apple trees, which is awesome. We can turn them into bacon. And who doesn't like bacon? If you don't, I'm sorry. You need to try some pasture raised bacon. It makes a big difference. You guys have got to see this crazy dinosaur egg I collected this morning. I'm going to put that in the video right here. When I went out this morning to let the chickens out, the duck had already laid a couple of eggs. Look at this monster. Let me get a regular chicken egg for you. I feel bad for this duck. Here's a chicken egg. There's that monster duck egg. Let's see if we can. Look at that. Let's go grab a regular duck egg that we get. All right, so here's a regular duck egg. Almost doubled in size. Let's see how the regular duck egg fits in the egg container. And then that one. That's nuts. Olivia said she wants to be around when we cook it because she goes, I bet you there's a double yolk in there. I've never seen that big of an egg before. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions on raising chicks on pasture, leave it in the comments below. Let me know your success stories with raising your chickens and animals on pasture. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it really helps the channel grow. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.